So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 5 of our Team Lotus creator team here on F1 Manager 24. Now if you didn't watch the last episode, go back and watch that one. Because it must be said, we are seeing signs that we're getting there. In Suzuka, uh, it was Charles Leclerc who won from Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz finishing in P3. Ferrari looking exceptionally strong at this moment in time. We finished P13 and P15. Enzo Fittipaldi having the new underfloor in that race. Liam Lawson not doing so well. We had a couple of incidents once again. But this weekend, we possibly could get points, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Because what we have done straight away, we have not only got the new underfloor, which is now installed on both cars, we've also got a new front wing, which is installed on both cars as well. And as you have a look at the rank on the grid, there's a significant difference between this new front wing and the old one. So now, if we look overall at the car, part, uh, the car analysis, I should say, uh, let's just have a quick look at that. We are now looking very, very strong. We are particularly quick at the acceleration. We're the third best car on the grid for that. Uh, low speed and high speed, the seventh best car on the grid. So we're looking okay in that department. I'm expecting a good race here in China. Just to bring you up to date with the standings, Ferrari are leading the constructors from Red Bull, 40 points ahead of Red Bull at the moment. McLaren in P3 and Mercedes in P4. We haven't scored a point yet, but fear not, that might change this weekend. Driver standings-wise, Charles Leclerc is leading from Max Verstappen with Carlos Sainz in P3 and then the two McLarens in 4th and 5th. Checo Perez has only scored 37 points this season. How disappointing for him. Now, we are going to China this weekend, so let's have a little look at what we can expect here. 56 laps around here it is a sprint weekend so a slightly longer episode car attributes low speed cornering and top speed are very very important around here the expected strategy is definitely a two stop i don't think we'll see anybody on a one stop so i'm going to get through practice and i'll see you in sprint qualifying for the chinese grand prix Sprint qualifying two then, Liam Lawson in P8 at the moment, he's green through the middle sector, it's got to be said Liam Lawson's looked in pretty good form so far this weekend, we've got the setups absolutely spot on as well, so what can Liam Lawson do and can he get in to the top 10 in sprint qualifying, let's have a look as he comes up to the line, will he improve, Liam Lawson doesn't improve by a lot. Fittipaldi on the other hand in P14 at the moment. What can he do at this moment in time? Um, Albon's finished in P14. DRS wide open as the run up to the line for Fittipaldi. He goes up to P13 provisionally. As we fast forward on, Liam Lawson is sadly knocked out in sprint qualifying two in P11. But I'm not too upset with that. P11 and P14 were on the cusp. Let's get to the sprint race. Not much to say on the strategy side of things. Both cars started on the medium compound attire. That's definitely optimal. Straight to the grid. Here we go. The sprint in Shanghai. And it's lights out. And away we go. And away we go. Now, that didn't look a good start from Checo Perez at all. And it must be said, he's getting swamped by the cars around him. Verstappen leads into turn one, as does Leclerc. Now, where are the two Lotus guys? Liam Lawton looks like he got away well there in P11. Um, Fittipaldi just boxed in behind the RV of Ricardo and Stroll. But decent getaway from both our cars. I will take that, definitely. P11 from Liam Lawson. Fittipaldi just dropping back a little bit. He's dropped back down to P15. Looks like he got squeezed out a little bit. Uh, but it does look like this year we are getting the uh, highlights in the sprint race, which is nice to see. Uh, definitely from a production point of view. Nico Hulkenberg just keeping his nose in round of the outside. We get a nice view of the Lotus front wing there. He keeps it down the inside and gets the job done. Up into P14 for Nico Hulkenberg. But Fittipaldi in P15, not the best of starts for him, but Lawson comfortable in P11. Fittipaldi wanted that place back, and he certainly got it. DRS open, not DRS open. It, what, my word. Now, that was um, aggressive, shall we say, from Fittipaldi. He is mega, he says. I mean, he was nearly mega in trouble there, but Fittipaldi getting past Hulkenberg well back in the DRS train. Liam Lawson, on the other hand, struggling to stay in the DRS of Lewis Hamilton. So we're just going to push him on a little bit with the DRS now, try and catch him up to the back of that Mercedes, and that'll help him along his way. Liam Lawson did everything he could to get back in the DRS of Hamilton, couldn't stick with him, and then Lance Stroll down that bike, long straight, DRS wide open, into the tight right, and managed to get the job done. Slowed up Liam Lawson, it must be said, and now Lawson can hopefully tag onto the back 
of Stroll, who definitely enjoyed that move, shall we say. But as we're coming up towards uh, lap, the end of lap seven here now, Lawson's got DRS, as has Fittipaldi, so hopefully now between them, we can just tag onto the back of this Aston Martin, which you never know, may drag us up towards the back of Lewis Hamilton. We are just going to tell Fittipaldi not to fight his teammate at this moment in time. There's no need to do that. Um, and cause any problems. It'll just slow us down, so we might as well sit in this DRS train now as we've got a yellow flag on circuit. Now, this wasn't one of the two Lotus guys. Let's have a look to see if we do get a replay. It's Logan Sargent locking up in to turn one. Let's see what he does here. Logan Sargent running P18 as we go into this turn one and just decides to carry straight on. Not ideal for Logan Sargent, who's going to be out of a seat in real life. He might be out of a seat in real life in the uh, game end of this season as well. Uh, Ricardo's got an engine fault, so we're definitely P12 and 13 won't be bad at all. We'll have a full rundown. It's Leclerc from Sainz. The two Ferraris storming away again. Norris in P3, then comes Verstappen in P4. There's a three-second gap to the two Ferraris. Perez P5, Piastri P6. Then comes Alonso and Russell in the final points paying positions before Sonoda and Hamilton in P9 and 10. Vittipaldi might have had a slow start to this race, but what he has done, he's overtaken his teammate and then got past Lance Stroll. Now, Vittipaldi's looking incredibly strong at this moment in time. I can't understand what is happening with Liam Lawson, whether it's confidence, whatever it is. Liam Lawson, again, his confidence is low. Fittipaldi's is medium. But his lap times have absolutely fell off a cliff as Fittipaldi's still fighting with Lance Stroll as we just flick back to this battle. But these two are fighting. Bearing in mind, Fittipaldi's had to get past Liam Lawson. And to be fair, Fittipaldi's much better at looking after his tyres as well. So there's not much at the moment going for Liam Lawson, which is quite concerning, to be fair, because if he's not performing towards the mid-stage of this season... I will look for a replacement because he's not helping young Enzo at all and he's not really got ingrained in this team, it must be said. I mean, uh, Fittipaldi here should get DRS, which I'm hoping he's going to get activated now. And this will drag him back up to the back of that Aston Martin. But with 10 laps to go, Fittipaldi leading the charge in P12. Liam Lawson is getting caught by Daniel Ricciardo, who has got a, uh, who has got a mechanical fault. What's going on? Logan Sargent is having an absolute mare. Look at what's just happened here. Logan Sargent just gets it all wrong on the exit. It's not going well for at all for Logan Sargent. I mean, we'd be able to pick him up on a, a very cheap deal, I think, at this moment in time. Uh, but Liam Lawson has dropped five seconds behind his teammate. Really, really poor from him. And letting Daniel Ricciardo back in DRS is even worse. He's burnt through his tyres. Not looking good at all. Meanwhile, at the front, Leclerc's still leading from Sainz. He's now, Carlos Sainz is out of DRS. Verstappen comfortably in P3 at the moment. Fittipaldi, however, is having a much stronger race, and he's just got past Yuki Tsunoda. Lovely work from him into the right-hander. And he's now chasing after the back of Lance Stroll. That's for P10, Lance Stroll. And Lewis Hamilton is for P9. This is boarding well for tomorrow's race at this moment in time. So we get to P9. And it must be said, he's got a full battery charge. Fittipaldi could really be on the charge towards the end here. Fittipaldi has got Lewis Hamilton down the inside again. He's, uh, he's been very aggressive as Fittipaldi. My word, did you see that acceleration on the exit there? Fittipaldi, fantastic from him. He's now up into P10. He's mega. And he's now chasing after Lance Stroll, who is only half a second in front of him. And if we just click on to uh, Fittipaldi now, Lance Stroll is well in his sights. This could quite easily be a P9 for Fittipaldi today. Lawson has dropped behind Ricardo. And now, if we have a look at the lap times, his tyres are dead. He's lapping a second and a half, second and a half slower than an RB that's got an engine problem. Where do we go from here? Hamilton's got Fittipaldi back, which is a little bit disappointing because I thought we may be able to get Lance Stroll today. But Lewis Hamilton pulling to the inside and getting the job done on little old Enzo. I say old Enzo, young Enzo, of course. But we are now on the final lap of this Grand Prix. And this is where it's about to get very, very interesting because Lewis Hamilton has got to defend from Fittipaldi for one last lap. I reckon with DRS, we'll get him. And if we are going to get Lewis Hamilton, this is going to be the part of the track where we do it because we're being aggressive on the tyres and we're going to join the cockpit camera because uh, because Fittipaldi already, acceleration off that final corner, was always going to get the run on Lewis Hamilton. Carlos Sainz has won the sprint race, but here goes Fittipaldi to get past Lewis Hamilton. Fantastic work from him. DRS, he was always going to do that. 
on at this final last lap sorry the gap is now 2.5 to stroll strolls done well to get p9 we weren't far off points today and if we can replicate this in the race my word it's looking good fittipaldi finishes p10 liam lawson will come across the line to finish p14 and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Sainz winning from Charles Leclerc. Verstappen in P3. Norris in P4. Piastri Perez dropped four positions on the day. Russell P7. Fernando Alonso P8. Stroll and Fittipal there. Liam Lawson dropping three positions. So, so disappointing. But Fittipal is showing that we have got the pace to get some points today. Let's get to the qualifying. Final laps in Q2 then. We were comfortably through to Q2. Um, all right, we were P sort of 14, 15, but we managed to get through quite comfortably. But Lawson now, green through the first and second sector. He's had a much improved second lap. Now, where is Liam Lawson going to go? All the way up to P8. Fittipaldi has not had a good first and second sector. Now, Fittipaldi, what's he going to do here? Is he going to have a blinding final sector? He definitely needs it. Crosses the line and only good enough for P16. The man who was char leading the charge for Lotus yesterday, but Liam Lawson at the moment, as we fast forward on, is he going to manage to make it into Q3? He isn't. He's going to be knocked down to P11. So, similar story to yesterday. Lawson out qualifying um, Fittipaldi, but maybe Fittipaldi's got the race pace. We just fast forward to Q3 results. Verstappen is on pole from Carlos Sainz, and Norris on P3. Then comes Leclerc in P4. Let's get to the strategy for Sunday. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very interesting uh, strategy call that we've got here. So what's going to happen is Liam Lawson, he's going to start on the medium compound attire, go onto the hard, and then go onto the medium. Now, there was no way on earth that Liam Lawson could do anything other than a two-stop. So we're going to go for this strategy with Liam Lawson. Now, the interesting thing is... Fittipaldi has got two sets of hard compound tyres, and I reckon he can really push on these. So we're going to start on the medium, then go on to the hard, then another set of hards. Now, one interesting thing to note is when we were doing the calculations, Fittipaldi apparently can do a one-stop on from mediums onto hards, whereas Lawson can't. So... I'm not going to try that. I think the two-stop is the way to go. We're going to go that way with Fittipaldi on strategy B. But P16, P11, let's see how we go. Welcome back, everyone. The final preparations are now being made as we head into the race. Now, this could be an important race for Pierre Gasly. Fighting their way out from P21 is not going to be easy at all and possibly too much to ask from this car. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? The excitement is building here in Shanghai. And it's lights out, and away we go. And away we go, and straight away we can see Verstappen got a decent start, as did Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris in P3. They're all battling at this moment in time. We're going to take the battle assist off because we think that slows it down a little bit. But Carlos Sainz has the lead of the Grand Prix on lap one, managing to get past Verstappen, although Verstappen comes back at him down the inside. If we have a look at the tyres, there's a lot of different tyre strategies happening across the field. Bottas has got damage. It's early damage for Valtteri Bottas. Has there been a collision with Fittipaldi, who's in the same sort of vicinity as Valtteri Bottas? Liam Lawson's had a decent start. He's in at P11, just tagging on to the back of Lewis Hamilton. Lance Stroll on the soft compound attire as is George Russell these soft compound tires are going to wear away and wear away quickly I would assume in the early stages of this Grand Prix but Liam Lawson at the moment is just going to be told now just to settle in behind Lewis Hamilton Fittipaldi on the other hand is keeping up with Nico Hulkenberg Liam Lawson's doing the old we're going to go backwards thing because now Yuki Tsunoda on the hard compound attire is managing to get past him and it's just a little bit frustrating that Liam Lawson just seems to have no race pace at this moment in time there's a long way to go in this one Yuki Tsunoda's quite happy with that and I've got to say it's looking like Liam Lawson's possibly capable of losing another position here we are going to push him on once again on these tires to try and get him up towards the back of Tsunoda and keeping that DRS because my word does he need to? But these soft compound tyres on these cars are going to die. He's just got to stick with it for the moment. Meanwhile, Fittipaldi is right on the back of Hulkenberg. Carlos Sainz, who was leading the Grand Prix or in P2, had a misshift and now has got a mechanical fault with his gearbox. I can't wait for this to happen at Team Lotus, it must be said. Uh, but Fittipaldi's just managed to get past Hulkenberg, which was actually the highlight I was hoping to come back for. We've got a competitor locking up on circuit. I would suggest that that is Kevin Magnussen, and it is. Let's have a little look 
at this. Kevin Magnussen into turn one. We saw Logan Sargent do this in the sprint race. He's got two kicks out of us in front of him. Unfortunately, he manages to avoid the cars around him. Magnussen not having the best start to this season either. But Fittipaldi now is 1.7 seconds behind Ricardo, And I think we are going to push him on on the battery to try and catch up to the back of him. Liam Lawson has managed to stick with Yuki Tsunoda and fair play to him has managed to get him back round the outside into turn one. Lovely nose camera shot there from Liam Lawson back up in so I believe that is P11. It is P11. 2.5 seconds behind Stroll but these soft compound tyre runners now are going to start to fall away which is what we're relying on with Fittipaldi at the moment because he's behind Daniel Ricciardo. I'm just going to give him a little bit of a push once again to get back in the DRS and then we can save a little bit of energy and fuel from there um, but lap six signs are still leading despite that mechanical fault but the soft compound tyres are starting to wear. This battle between Lawson and Fitz, uh, sorry, between Lawson and Sonoda is a continuing, and Liam Lawson, as we go under the bridge, managing to get the job done into turn one. It's not been a bad performance from both Team Lotus cars at the minute. As you join us back, Fittipaldi is just about to join this fight with Sonoda and Lawson, and as Lawson will be leading the train, they're both managing the tyres pretty much the same. It's pretty level for the two Team Lotus drivers at this moment in time. Daniel Ricciardo has well and truly joined the party. He's managed to get on the back of Liam Lawson. He overtook Yuki Tsunoda, and then he's managed to get past Liam Lawson. So Daniel Ricciardo now leading the train on the soft compound attire. He's looking very, very good, to be fair, Daniel Ricciardo, today. Let's have a full rundown as we're on lap 10. Verstappen is leading from Carlos Sainz. Lando Norris in P3. Then comes the Charles Leclerc, Piastri, Perez. The two were Mercedes of Russell and Hamilton in P7 and 8. Alonso and Stroll in the Aston Martins in P9 and 10. Uh, but again, these soft compound tyres, we're just waiting for these to drop off a bit. And then in, on the medium compound tyre, we're pretty confident we can then attack. So Liam Lawson just dropping out of the DRS of Ricciardo at this moment and he's going to be given the hurry up now and one thing that has just helped us is Daniel Ricciardo doing this because he was chasing Liam Lawson got a bit trigger happy on the throttle and to be fair Fittipaldi okay. um, his teammate was compromised there as well and I think Fittipaldi managed to, ne managed to negotiate around that so that is Daniel Ricciardo out of the way and now Fittipaldi is actually 2.3 seconds behind Lawson he now needs to get a move on uh, and try and catch up with his teammate because Sonoda's behind him but I think on, on pure pace Fittipaldi seems a little bit quicker Fittipaldi is still making overtakes, even though these tyres are starting to run away from him. Now, we are going to go for the tyre offset today, and we are going to go hard hards on uh, Fittipaldi. And we've changed strategy. He feels good as Enzo Fittipaldi. We've changed strategy with Liam Lawson, because he's now going to go on to a set of soft compound tyres next. Now, this is going to be really interesting if he does this, because I think this could be a masterclass, because Liam Lawson has managed these medium tyres rather well, and I think if we can do that or with the soft compound, the hards towards the end, Lawson might be in a nice position, but we'll be expecting pit stops in the next couple of laps. We've just had a yellow flag. I mean, if we had a safety car, that would be the time to pit, so we'll come back shortly. Now, this this is quite a serious crash for Esteban Ocon. So we're just going to watch this and then explain the thinking on what we're just about to do. So in comes Esteban Ocon spinning off. And my word, is that a bad one? A really bad crash that for Esteban. We hope he's okay. But we were going to double stack. We've decided not to because Liam Lawson's going to come in. He is the front runner of the two. So he's coming into the pits. Fittipaldi will carry on and hopefully the VSC is still going by the time Fittipaldi gets round. And into the pits comes Liam Lawson. So Fittipaldi may pit this lap. We are just going to conserve a bit of fuel, conserve a bit of battery. There is an option here to switch Fittipaldi on to a one-stop strategy, but Lawson is in. Let's hope he gets a decent stop here, Liam Lawson. He deserves a little bit of luck. We saw Lance Stroll coming in there. This is going to benefit us here. Onto the soft compound attire. Here we go. Liam Lawson, is it a good stop? 2.8 seconds. It is. Now, where is Liam Lawson going to rejoin? We can see Gasly. We can see Sargent. We were racing Ricardo earlier. who's just coming around the final corner. So, Liam Lawson's already out. That's worked very, very well indeed for Liam Lawson. who's going to be able to save these tyres a little bit as well now, which is a big, big bonus for him. Fittipaldi will come in this lap if the VSC is still out. And into the pits comes Fittipaldi, and we are still under VSC. Now, this is hugely beneficial 
for the Lotus cars. Now, to be fair, there's a few cars around us that have stopped already. Hamilton and Alonso haven't, amazingly. So we are going to gain a little bit of time here, providing we have a decent stop with Fittipaldi. Liam Lawson's looking after these tyres. The virtual safety car is ending. We're probably going to go back to green flag running just as we come out from this pit stop. But it's a decent pit stop again from the Lotus team. It's now back to green flag running. Now, where is Liam Lawson? Liam Lawson's just coming down the pit straight. And there is Fittipaldi. He's going to sit, come out now behind Liam Lawson, but crucially in front of Pierre Gasly. So now it's push time for both these cars to get these tyres up to temperature and we can go from there. But now we are in the fight for points. Lap 18. Lap 26, you join us back. Carlos Sainz is really, really struggling with these mechanical faults on this Ferrari. If they'd have given him a car capable of winning this Grand Prix today, I'm pretty sure he could have done it. Meanwhile, mechanical fault for Zhou Guan Yu, but Liam Lawson's been decently lapping at this moment in time. His tyres are just starting to go off, but it's been a good stint from Liam Lawson. But Fittipaldi is doing very well as well. He's on 76% hards. Remember, he's going on to another set of hards towards the end. He can afford to push, push, push on these hard compound tyres right to the end now. There is no limits to Fittipaldi today. Lawson's going on some hards in around, what, maybe 10 laps time, 8 to 10 laps time, but we'll have a full rundown. We've got Norris leading now from Verstappen. Signs in P3, Leclerc in P4, Piastre comes in P5, then Perez again in P6. It's not really good enough from Checo Perez. Russell in P7, Alonso P8, Hamilton Stroll, then come the two Lotus boys in 11th and 12th. If something happens in front of us, we could benefit. Sonoda's got Fittipaldi, but I'm not too concerned about this because Sonoda's soft compound tyres are going to die off. And then I reckon we'll be able to get him back. He managed to gather us there pretty easily, to be fair. He's got more grip on them at the moment. Give us a little bit of a shove for good measure. But at this moment, that's not a big panic for us because Fittipaldi now will stay in the DRS, hopefully, of Sonoda. And this should benefit us as long as, as long as we can stay in the DRS, which at the moment, we've got DRS on this straight. Sonoda's not really catching Lawson, who is just managing his tyres at the moment. So it's all up to Fittipaldi now, although Sonoda does look like he's disappearing up the road, to be fair. But this will come back to us. To be fair, we told Liam Lawson to try and defend against Sonoda, but he couldn't do it. Those fresh soft compound tyres look pretty, pretty good on that Red Bull at this moment in time. So Sonoda now up in to p11 lawson relegated to p12 again just managing his tires at this moment trying to get to this hard compound stint which he'll be coming in on the next lap Fittipaldi again pushing as he must at this moment but doing enough he's well clear of ricardo these final pit stops we just need a couple of things to happen in front of us and we could get some points today and into the pits comes Liam Lawson. He gave his teammate a helping of DRS to boot as well. And Liam Lawson is in for his pit stop. Now, he's in P13 as we come in to the pits. Now, I'd expect him to come out probably just behind sort of Hulkenberg, in between that gap between Hulkenberg and Albon. Hulkenberg's also got a, uh, a component issue as well. That Lotus does look good, by the way. Let me know what you think of the livery. Let me know what you're thinking of the series so far down in the comments. But into the pits comes Liam Lawson. It's another good pit stop from the team. 2.5 seconds. We'll take that all day long. Fittipaldi now into P12. Where is Liam Lawson going to come out? He comes out just behind the two front runners, behind Alexander Albon. Um, and he's now onto the hard compound run, on uh, hard compound tyre, sorry, which will see him to the end of this Grand Prix. And Liam Lawson made no, uh, had no problem making the move on Alexander Albon because he, he straight away as soon as he got out of the pit he's got the tyres fired up and he got the move done into the right hander can see a few cars in front of him there a few cars pitting in front of him but Liam Lawson now up to P15 he's enjoying these R compound tyres at the minute he's got Hulkenberg in front of him we are just going to push him on a little bit now Fittipaldi's pit window for his next set of hards is open Liam Lawson's making moves now. He's now got Nico Hulkenberg in his sights and managing to get past beautifully. Um, cockpit camera, we like to see it. We can see the front runners in front of us. I mean, Liam Lawson, you can't say he's had a bad Grand Prix today. Fair play to him. He's bounced back from yesterday's uh, sprint race pretty, pretty well. He's been pushing on the ERS and actually getting a little bit of DRS from the uh, Red Bull in front. So this is helping him along nicely. If we have a look at his last lap time, a 138.4, 138.3 is right up there with the front running pace so fair play to Liam Lawson he's lapping well at the minute Fittipaldi we are going to push on these tyres for another couple of laps then we'll be into the pits into the pits comes Enzo Fittipaldi it's been another good stint from the young driver we've been pretty happy and to be honest with you 
we've made no mistakes today so far. I know I've just said that as we now come into a pit stop. I realise that, and I realise that now there's no way on earth that this is going to be a 2.5 second stop. Or is it? Because Leon Lawson P14 now just coming down the start finish straight. Is he going to be a decent stop? He looks very good from the team. 2.563. We will take that all day long. There's just been a yellow flag on circuit. If there's a safety car, we're going to be fuming. There isn't a safety car. Leon Lawson now promoted to P13. Daniel Ricciardo has not had the best of uh, Grand Prix today. He's spun out already. Now he's locking out, locking up into turn one and turn two. It's not going well at all for Daniel Ricciardo, but it is going well for the two Lotus boys. So the Lotus boys now, as we look at it, P13 and P14, we've got a couple of cars to stop in front of us. You never know what we could achieve. Carlos Sainz has got that many mechanical faults on this Ferrari. And Charles Leclerc now has also got a mechanical fault. The Ferraris are falling to pieces in front of us at this moment in time. And this has got to be concerning because if those two DNF, by the way, we would finishing the points there's no doubt in that because stroll and sonoda are just pitting at the minute sonoda's coming in lance stroll's come out i don't know where liam lawson is he's a little bit far behind uh, yuki sonoda comes into the pits is he going to get a decent stop he didn't look bad where is liam lawson just coming down the start finish straight yuki sonoda trundling out of the pit lane fittipaldi giving chase as well lawson looks like he's passed him is fittipaldi not quite but sonoda's on a set of soft compound tires to the end with 15 laps to go It'll be interesting now to see how well he does. But if either of these Ferraris decide that they can't carry on, we could be in a very, very strong position. 15 to go. Carlos Sainz has retired the car. I don't know why we're watching Liam Lawson, but he has. That's a very weird replay, but Carlos Sainz... They obviously didn't enjoy watching Liam Lawson on the cameras either. My word, ladies and gentlemen. But Carlos Sainz is out of the Grand Prix, which would mean... Sonoda is going to now be promoted to P10. Lawson is also going to be in the mix. Now, if their if Sonoda's tyres die towards the end, we could be in a really, really strong position here to potentially get a point for Team Lotus. This is now crucial, and now we are going to be telling both our guys to share DRS, work together economically to make sure that we can... Get up to the back of this RB at the end and hopefully, hopefully take a point. The whole idea of DRS sharing was the idea that Liam Lawson could keep up with Fittipaldi. And it's got to be said, he's not quite managed it. Uh, he dropped out of the DRS. We've tried to push him to get back in it and he just couldn't quite do it. So all our hopes rest now on Fittipaldi. But unless anything bad happens in front, it's not looking likely that we're going to get a point. Final lap of the Grand Prix then, and you are on board with our leader. We're watching our leader, Lando Norris, come around the final sector. He's dominated by 11 seconds today. Charles Leclerc has just had another serious mechanical fault. We were expecting him maybe to retire the car. He's not quite managed to do that. But Lando Norris will come across the line and win. Max Verstappen's still fighting with Charles Leclerc, who sadly is going to finish this Grand Prix for us because we would have picked up a point if he hadn't. And Daniel Ricciardo has caught Liam Lawson. And this is as frustrating as it gets because Liam Lawson now, he better get this position back or there's going to be serious question marks about this man's future. Here comes Liam Lawson into this right-hander. He has got to maintain this position because if he doesn't, I'm going to be fuming. Fittipaldi in P11. It's a decent finish from him from p16 but once again liam lawson flattering to deceive he will come across the line in p12 but my word since so every card had two spins oh just about p11 p12 we'll take that all day long let's get to the podium as always there will be lots to talk about after that race including the performance from the driver currently on our screens just out of the points today with a p12 finish in the end Lando Norris certainly loves the podium, heading up there now to celebrate again. We can't quite imagine how that must feel. It's their first F1 victory after all. Lando Norris doing very, very well. Max Verstappen in P, in P2. And uh, we saw also Charles Leclerc in P3. We had to battle against the Ferrari, trying not to let him finish. But it's a decent result for Lando, who finishes on the top step. Uh, Piastri finished in P4, Perez in P5, then came Russell, Alonso, Hamilton and Yuki Tsunoda. Fittipaldi gained five positions on the day to go up to P11. Liam Lawson dropped one to go to P12. Unfortunate not to drop two to Daniel Ricciardo. Alex 
Alexander Albon finished in P14. And at the back, we did have two DNFs, one of which was Esteban Ocon and one of which was Carlos Sainz. Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari getting the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Driver standings wise, Charles Leclerc continues to lead, but only by 10 points now from Max Verstappen. Lando Norris is up to P3 with Carlos Sainz dropping to P4. Maintaining the top 10 is uh, Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll, both Aston Martins. P13 and 14 for the Team Lotus boys now, but sadly, we are still pointless, as we can see. You just to point out as well, Yuki Tsunoda getting his first point of the season. Constructor standings wise, uh, Ferrari are leading on a 181 points um red bull in p2 and mclaren in p3 we go above uh Haas on zero points but a visa cash app rb seems to be the team that were battling for the final points paying positions ladies and gentlemen the car is improving the team is improving the pit stops are improving liam lawson isn't improving things to look at please do like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Ta -ra.